The following is a really simple demonstration of how you can use uh, iOS shortcuts to add uh, stuff to your database in Notion. Uh, what I have here, uh, let me just show you, is a really simple database which just has a name and a uh, checkbox. Let's call it uh, checkbox just for fun, checkbox. Uh, that you can toggle if a task is done or not. Uh, do the dishes or whatever like this and what you I want to show is how you can add um, items to this database just straight from your iOS shortcuts app. So let's get to it. I'm going to show it all the way from, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm not going to show you how to make a Notion uh, account. I'm guessing you already had that. So what you need to do is first you need to create, create an API, API user in, uh, or an API um, uh, integration. You do that by going to this link here, Notion uh, My Integration, and it's going to take you to this page. You just click on New Integration, give it a name. Let's do Foo Bar, for instance. Uh, whoop. Uh, and give it access to everything here. Submit, and then we're going to get a key, secret key here. Let's just copy that one uh, and bring it over into the shortcuts. I'm just going to temporarily store it. Uh, API key, temporarily just store it here, like that. The second thing we need to do is get a database. Uh, now uh, let's share the database firstly. We need to sh uh, make the database as accessible to uh, API uh, calls. So we do that by go, uh, going to the database. Let's go here, the simple to do. And then we just share it uh, with, we click here and share it with the integration user that we all uh, just created in the foobar, like that, invites and done. So now this database is callable and uncallable. Then the third thing we need to do is get the database ID. You can get it a couple of ways. The simplest, I think, is to just go up here to the address bar and just grab this part. It's the th uh, thing going from so slash all the way up to the first question mark. And that's it, basically. You can also get it by clicking the share and uh, share um, uh, let's see, copy the page link like that, and then you're, uh, you have the link like so. And then you just grab this, wow, this part here. Let's just remove all the other stuff, database ID, like that. Okay, now we have what we need. So now we need to make a call to the... Uh, and to the database. We do that by using the get content of Earl action. And then we, we need to do the uh, call to a specific uh, Earl. And I got that one over here. It's called pages. We post to the this Earl, like so. And what we, we do this by, we enter this, uh, Pages Earl. So actually, we're adding a page and not a database item. Uh, even though it is um, in a database, we call every item here a page. So we are sending a call to pages and we need to add some information to identify and, uh, ourselves. And so we need some headers. We need three headers. We need first authorization. And then we use the bearer, oops, a bearer, space, and then the secret key up here, like this, with no extra spaces, that's important. And then we need a, a Notion version, like, for identifying what AP version we are using. Just put it in like that. And then we need, uh, and it wants to know what kind of content we are sending. So we just go into paste in this, like so. Okay, so the call is ready, but we also need to specify what kind of uh, data we are sending and the content of the data. We do that by creating a JSON. If you don't know what a JSON is, you need to look that up because I'm not going to explain that here, but oops. Uh, Let's grab. So 
this is how you format the JSON. So basically, we are telling, telling that the, the in the database the, uh, here, and we point to our the database ID here. In this database, we're going to add a new page with the properties name, which is uh, the title. Uh, and the name has a bunch of stuff in it, but the, we are going to set the text content to this Lauren Ipsum. Now we can, we can also blah, 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 whatever, like this. And, and then we're going to jam this JSON into the request, like so. And we choose file, choose magic variable, get this text into it. So now if we just uh, hit play on this, it should work. Allow it to access the internet, like so, and we should get a response. Yeah, this means that it worked. So, I'm just, uh, I can just bring up the notion. Here's, let's see, simple to do. Let's just refresh it. Blah, blah, blah. It come through. I'm gonna run it again to add another, like so. Blah blah blah, and again. But it's not really helpful to add the same item over and over. So what we do to allow? Let's get rid of. We're just going to ask for input, like so. What do you want to add to your to-do list? like so, and then it's going to prompt you for uh, just enter some text, and then we just replace this part here with the magic variable from the provided input, like so. So if we run this again, clean the dog, like so. Clean the dog, it's in there. So that's the simplest way to do it uh, yeah. there, uh, if you're interested in me making more short, simple explanation like this, then feel free to comment uh, and uh, subscribe and all of that good stuff. Not, uh, not bother with subscription, and I'm not that uh, active. But uh, give me a feedback if you want more videos like this. So, okay. 